It was a killing spree like no other time in Utah history. Margot Bond wasn't the only person to die in 1992. Three other young girls were murdered as well. And the man who killed them didn't even deny it. For every crime, there's a story and the truth matters. Here's ABC4's Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. Margot Bond was murdered in February 1992. Over the next few weeks, three other young teens were also murdered, but their connection would not be made until 1995. He was there looking for a younger victim, like a, an, a junior high school girl, you know, and just saw the right opportunity with my little mom. Roberto Arguez once compared himself to a mad dog. Others called him a rapist and a serial killer. In 1992, he went to Kennedy Junior High in West Valley looking for his prey. Margot Bond, a custodian, was there. Her son, Ryan Severe, learned what happened next. He said, there's a little kid hurt outside. He said, well, there's a little girl hurt out here. Come out here and help her. So my little mom ran outside to help a kid, and then he pulled a knife on her from behind. She disappeared, but her car was still in the parking lot. Police searched both inside and outside the school. The circumstances of her disappearance made me know instantly that something foul had happened. Exactly four months later, her remains were found in the west desert of Tooele County. It's kind of comforting to actually just know instead of not knowing. Three years later, police got a tip from prison inmates. Arguez admitted to killing young women. In the 1980s, Arguez spent 11 years in prison for raping two girls and the attempted murder of one of them. He was paroled in 1991. But he returned to prison in late 1992 for sexually molesting two children. When confronted, Arguez told authorities he only witnessed the murders, but took them to the site. ABC4 was there that August. A stench-filled pig farm southwest of Salt Lake International Airport may hold the key to a string of disappearances, rapes, and murders. Detectives have already dug up two bodies, those of Lisa Martinez and Tuesday Roberts. Now they're looking for more. He was somebody who was known for molesting uh, young women, and um, uh, they, uh, he was just one of the suspects in that case and was confronted. And when he was confronted is when he confessed uh, to all of the murders. Otaguayas led authorities to another burial site in Utah County. There, they uncovered the remains of 13-year-old Stephanie Blundell, who disappeared in 1992. It fits the description. He apparently uh, killed her in this area and buried her up here. He confessed to murdering Margot Bond. Three weeks later, he kidnapped Blundell as she walked to school. And a week later, he offered Tuesday Roberts and Lisa Martinez a ride. They were never seen again. He already had admitted that he killed them all. They knew that. So, I mean, how can you say that that's inhumane to execute somebody like that? Tomorrow, as we conclude this story, the fight to execute Roberto Arguez goes sideways. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.